गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर हेलो हेलो वेलकम बैक एड्रियाना थैंक यू व्हाट हैपेंड टू यू I went to Los Angeles for work oh, from really? Wednesday to Monday. Wow, how was the trip? Good. Did you Tired, enjoy? but good. Busy, pretty busy, I bet. Yes. But that's nice. Did you practice English? Yes. A lot. Yes. <laughs> You're tired of speaking English. Yes. Nice. But in Los Angeles, many people speak Six Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, because of the Latin community, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But at least for work, you practice English a lot. Yes. That's great. Welcome. I didn't know I was kind of um, surprised because yesterday we're not in class and I said, oh, wow, what happened to Adriana? She's yes. usually very punctual. <laughs> okay, good evening, good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <coughs> Everything good? I think. All right, I think so. <laughs> All right. No problems today? No issues? Mm, no. Nice. Uh, I listen. I listening to Adriana. Uh, me me hizo como I did. Uh -huh. I did remember. Oh, she makes me remember in that case. Oh, she reminds me of. I I. Uh, she reminds me. She reminds. Reminds uh, me of my trips. Yes, uh, I uh, had experience in the airport. Houston. Oh, nice. Uh, let the people speak, uh, speak in English. Uh, the, uh, um, for me, it was difficult. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you get used to it. That's great. Yeah, having the experience of traveling is really awesome. And mainly if you are learning the language and you put it into practice, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. <laughs> like in a real life. Exactly, in a real life. And, you, and when you listen to the announcements at the airport, you have to pay attention. Go, oh, no, that's my flight. What's the gate? Oh, I have to run. <laughs> so, it's really good. Yeah, actually, you know, in my case, my experience, I've been teacher for many years. And then I had the opportunity to go to the States as well. And everything was like easy, let's say. But at the time, we went to a restaurant. It was a local restaurant from a city in South Carolina, I guess. And I got the menu. And the menu, you know, it was a, a pizza restaurant, but it was a local restaurant. The menu has the names of the dishes of the different specialties in an attractive way, let's say. So they call it with local names, and I was like, what does this pizza, what does this dish have because they have like exotic names so i was like hmm that doesn't sound just like normal pizza so i asked the waitress to explain to me what the dish come with so it was kind of interesting because i had done this before i mean as a teacher i had modeled the, the students how to do it and we had practiced it but in doing it in real life is totally different it was really, really interesting. All right, everybody, welcome. I see Christina, Hector, Mayra, Isabel, Irma, plus Hazel, Daniel, Lucy. How are you? All good? All good. <laughs> nice. No issues today. Great. That's good. Yesterday, there was probably uh, rain and there was a horrible traffic. Today was just raining, but it was okay. It was okay. All right. Oh, we also have Wendy. Attendance, the first things first. 
Let's have the attendance. All right, let me see. We have omitted so many, well, yeah, the dates. Today is the 20, the 20th, right? Okay. Hey, Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Cristina. Present. Hello. Daniel. Present. LT. Not yet, right? Herman. Not yet. Hazel. Present teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hector. Present teacher. Hi, Ileana. Not yet. Irma. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Isabel. <laughs> Far away. Lucy. Present. Marta. Not here. Mayra. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Samuel. Wendy. Jacqueline. Hi, I'm here. Hi. Is Jacqueline here? No, not today. All right. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. What happened? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot about the class. <laughs> un, un, eh, un poquito, ¿cómo se dice? A little. <laughs> A little. <laughs> Just a little. Just... A little bit of... No, stop singing, teacher. This is a serious class. Okay. <laughs> it's because at once I was singing... I'm, I'm always singing because of everywhere I remember a song. And then I had problems with the video, you know? I couldn't upload the video. It says uh, that I had sang, that it had some inconsistent. I was like, what? So YouTube is very risk. I mean, gives a lot of restrictions with copyright. So I shouldn't sing. Uh, otherwise, I would sing a lot, a lot. Believe me. All right, but singing it's a good strategy for you to practice English at home. If you like a song in English, you can get the lyrics and you can sing it as many times as you want at home, in the bathroom, in your car at your work if you don't have any problems with your bosses of course because <laughs> some bosses don't like exactly hi daniel what happened ah listener daniel is gonna be a listener oh by the way we forgot this very important custom on the chat escriban algo nice in english Something nice. Good evening, everybody. I'm happy to see you. I see you're happy. I hope you have dinner. Something really nice to your colleagues, to your partners in class. Solo Daniel ha escrito que va a estar de listener. Hi, Daniel. You could say good evening. I'm going to be a listener tonight. <laughs> you can do it in English. Change it. No, I'm kidding. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe he's working or in a meeting. Or driving. Uh -huh, let's see the good message, the positive message on the chat, please. Be creative, be nice, be kind. Actually, English is a language exactly for welcoming. Uh huh. Hi, guys. Nice to see you again. And you can also give like a reaction. Hi, partners. I wish you have a good class tonight. All right. I wish you good class. That's great. Mm -hmm. Let's see who else, who else, who else? Say thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you see, kindness, manners are important in English, are very, very important. Uh huh. Let's see what else, what else, what else? More creativity, more positivity. Plus, Positive words are real important as well. Be positive. All right. It's amazing to be in an English class. Hi. Awesome. I see. 
Mm -hmm. Hi, friends. I will enjoy the class. I hope you enjoy the class as well. Yes, good evening. I'm very happy to be with you again in class, Adriana. Nice, yes. Adriana, what did you bring from Los Angeles? Did you know that Adriana <laughs> went to Los Angeles? Cookies. Uh, no. Why no. not? Um. <laughs> Why not? No, nothing. nothing. Adriana, um, si estuviéramos in person classes, <laughs> you will no. be in trouble. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, nothing. When nothing. I went to the States, I was carrying a huge roller with a lot of chocolates, no. her cheese. No, because he is for, went for work. And you didn't go to any store. At the mm. I mean, the supermarket. At the duty free. <laughs> the duty free at the airport, at least. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Isabel, so just say hi. Welcome, Adriana. Hello, friends. The rest and I. All right. Mm -hmm. Tonight, the weather is really cool. It's not hot, it's not cold. It's really good. Do you like this weather? After the rain, the weather is good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Well, no more messages. Some people haven't written anything. Bueno, que no escriban messages aquí. Ahí está ahora, les va a tocar hacer las primeras actividades. <laughs> they are the volunteers for not writing anything. Okay. Ya sé quiénes son. All right. <laughs> I know who they are. No paran de llegar a <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Le va a saturar. It's all right. No problem. All right. This is our English for Work program, basic. That's in module six, the session 10. And today is Tuesday, September the 20th or the 20th, as you wish, of 2022. Great, welcome. We have a lot of things to do. These are some of the reminders. Uh huh. And the objective is very, very similar to the one we had yesterday. We talked about a colleague's routine at the workplace using the present symbol. Of course, it's a general review because today is the last class of the unit two. So I hope you have completed the session two on the platform and the exam, the midterm exam. I hope so, because we're running. Officially, tomorrow starts the third week of the unit three. So we have to be very, very efficient, right? Let's take a look at the manual. The sure. chief, yes, tell me. Um, tonight start uh, three, uh, unit three. three, three, unit three, tomorrow. Ah, okay. <laughs> Today, officially, we finish the unit two, and the exam should be finished too. Okay. <laughs> Tonight, you want to sleep at midnight, you're going to be completing the exam. <laughs> no, I hope you have already finished. I hope. All right, let's share the screen with the, yes, the manual. Okay. This is sort of the last lesson, some of the last lessons for this uh, unit. Unit two, it says we'll be able to describe a colleague's routine at the workplace. And then it says who interviews which for employees in your company? List five activities you do in a regular day. Who is in charge of interviewing? Don't tell me. No me lo digan. Escribanlo en el chat. Who is in charge? O sea, quién está a cargo de entrevistar future employees in su company? Don't say the name. Probably you can say this and this person or this and this position, right? So who is in charge of interviewing? Who interviews? future employees in your company if that is the case okay who is in charge of 
futuros empleados en su compañía. Tell me, the department could be, or the job position that that person has could be as well. Or if you want to say name, it's fine. All right. Okay, it says Marcos. Marcos is what? Marcos, the general manager of this in this place. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, Marcos, the director of, of the manager of this department, right? That's all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some more messages I got. Huh. Yes, that's right. Manager of human resources. Okay. Human resources manager. The director of any department or the main department or the department that you work for. Yeah, usually it's human resources, right? That does the interviews. Mm -hmm. They also, um, well, some, com some of the companies also have, a, a, I don't know what the, the professions are usually psychologists. So that's the test and the interviews right like human resources recruitment or personal recruitment mm -hmm. okay that staff attraction could be all right hey, you may teacher, jump yes give me uh, what is the mean reschedule reschedule schedule oh schedule only the schedules uh -huh. horarios Mm, no, uh, re schedule. Re -schedule? When Marco, uh, yes, re schedule some of them tomorrow. Re programar. Oh. Mm -hmm. Re agendar, re schedule. Okay, thank you. Okay, nice. Okay, human resources, managers, uh huh. The interviews, each area of uh -huh, the boss of each area and the administration area. Yes, human resources managers, election coordinators. All right, that's what I was saying. Sometimes the company does the whole thing or the whole process through the human resources department, right? But sometimes uh, each manager of each area does, or sometimes the companies uh, are like really a strict in the selection process and they have first the department right and then human resources so that is the case at some companies but not in every company in some companies it's just uh one department in charge right or depends of the employee they need or for the area they need the new employee right so that's what usually happens so not necessarily it's the same in every company because the company that I work for, yes, the, I think it's the manager or the director of each department first does the interviews, some um, tests, you know, like ability test, and then human resources continues with the process and they do a lot of other tests and interviews, psychological tests, I think. Okay, interesting, really interesting. Okay, recruitment and selection unit. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You know, some companies have a, a specific unit or department or the staff just for recruitment, right? All right, great. Oh, five activities that you do in a regular day. You already did this. I guess we did this yesterday. We practice a lot of, of these activities that you do in a regular day at your company. Now we have this conversation. Listen to your teacher. No, listen to your partner. <laughs> okay, then practice again with a partner. It's easier because the teacher is only one, but you have a lot of partners. So it's a lot easier to practice with a partner. Okay, Celia and Marcos, they are having a conversation. Says, Celia says, good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Remember, how are you? How is it going? How is your day going? Another way to say, how are you? How's everything going, right? Very, very similar question. Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. 
Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personal is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Jeanette's job. Okay? Celia and Marcus, right? They are talking about what they usually do and the activities that they are doing during this day. Okay, what they are going on, what they are going through this day. So once again, good morning, Marcos. How's your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see, I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them, some of them tomorrow. Reschedule them. So probably they had the interview today, but the interview was rescheduled for the next day, right? I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personal is ready in order in the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Jeanette's job. No, <laughs> it's Celia's job actually. <laughs> All right, okay. Is there any question? Do you find any word difficult or challenging to pronounce? Mm -hmm. Questions? Any question? The, the word doubt. doubt. I thought. 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 This one, right? Thought. Thought is the past of think. Think, yo pienso. Thought, yo pensé, yo pensaba que. Día. This one? Is a similar idea. Mm -hmm. In past. Este es el verbo pero pensar por el pasado. Si yo uh. pensaba que ordenar el inventory era el trabajo de Janet. Mm, o sea, no pensé que usted lo tenía que hacer, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's why I thought instead of think. Think is in present. What do you think? Yes, but in present, oh, I thought. <clears throat> Teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, who Marco says pretty good. Pretty good. Ah, it's when you, when you ask somebody, how are you? How is it going? Good. Pretty good. Okay. Not bad. Es un yeah. saludo más o oh, algo así. It's a way to answer, una, una respuesta positiva, que son bastante bien. Ok. En este caso, pretty no es de pretty de bonito, ¿verdad? sino que es very good. <laughs> it's an emphasis, ok? For very good. Pretty good. Pretty good things, people say. Mm -hmm. Something else? What else? One more, ok. Maybe we need to practice. Para que se pongan ya así como, ah, esto me cuesta. Veamos. First person is Celia. So Celia is going to be, what about, mm, undecisive. Ileana, you want to be Celia? Hello? Or probably not. It's all right. Irma? Can you be Celia? Uh, Arif? Yes? Yes. Good morning, Marco. Oh, wait, wait, you? wait a second. Wait a second. It's okay. So you are going to be Celia, but we need some Marcos. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to ask okay. Hector to be Marcos. <laughs> right. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Good morning, Marcos. Who is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interview some potential employees. Then I have to talk with the to the, to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. 
I saw some people on the reception when I came. Yes, I reschedule. Uh, reschedule. Reschedule. Some and then tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the casual. Checking the uh, checking that the uh, personnel is ready and ordering ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was the net job. All right, good job, good job, good job. Uh, checking, ordering, let's see, interviewing. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Yes. Okay, so we need another Celia and another Marcus. Let's see. What about Mayra? Yes. Yes. And for Mayra. Celia from oh my Yes. <laughs> You're Celia and for is Marcus. <laughs> okay. Ready? Good ready. morning. Yes, ready. Go. Good morning, Marco. How is your day, day going? Pretty good. I just finished an interview interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw I saw some some people in the reception when I come. Yes, reschedule some of the tomorrow. I need to take I, I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering ordering the inventory. I thought order, ordering the inventory was Janet Jobs. No, apparently not. It's me. It's me. <laughs> I do everything in this office. <laughs> okay. No trabaja, eh? no work. I don't know what Janet she... does. <laughs> okay, good. I just finished. Esta ED de finish del pasado generalmente se pronuncia como una T. Como que usted vea una T. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. All right. Como I si see. Fuera pedico, ¿verdad, teacher? T. T. Ah, finished. Tomato. Yes, I finished. That's right. All right. Okay. We're going to do three things. Vamos a hacer tres cosas. First thing, practice the conversation. Tal cual está. Number two, vamos a cambiar mmm, la parte de. Veamos. La parte de Marcos. Pero no la parte donde está lo de la, inter la, de la interview, sino que después, donde dice, yes, I reschedule. Yes. Pueden ser, yes, I, I made some phone calls, or I ordered some documents, or I finished a report. Then I have, um, okay, I reschedule some of them. Lo pueden dejar aún. I need to. Necesito hacer otras cosas, ya. Yeah? Ahí es donde le van a cambiar. Anyways, how about you? Y acá también lo van a cambiar. Lo de Celia. Puede ser como cosas más reales que ustedes hacen. The usual, checking the personal, aquí pueden decir algo más. Ok. Ordering the inventory, también pueden decir otra cosa. Y ahí, obviamente, cuando Marcos le responde, I thought, for example, uh, printing the documents for the meeting. So you can say, oh, I thought printing the documents for the meeting was the assistant's job or the secretary's job, I don't know, whatever. Ok. So, you can change some of those. At the beginning, lo pueden dejar tal cual. Then, after, yes, I reschedule some of them for tomorrow, or some of them tomorrow, I need to, necesito terminar esto, 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 esto. Yeah, that's why you reschedule. And then, you're going to present in the audience. Are we ready? 
paraphrasing. Primero, practicar tal cual. Second, make some changes in the last part of Marcus and the last part of Celia. Yes? And third, present it in the general meeting. Yes? Questions? No questions? No doubts? Good. Let's go. Let's do it. Vale. No. Entonces dijo que practicáramos. Uh -huh. Ya la encontró. Ya, ya la tengo, ya la tengo. Ya, vale. Eh, good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I should finish it. interview some potential employees. Then I have to tell the staff about some change in the schedule. It's true. Yeah, I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I received. <laughs> You say re, re, re schedule. Re schedule. Re schedule. Re schedule. Exactly. Pero el ID es porque fue en pasado, teacher. Exactly, porque ajá, tuve que reprogramar. Ah. Lo reprogramé algunas de las entrevistas. Re schedule. Re schedule. Reschedule. Reschedule some interviews for tomorrow. <laughs> some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some units. Anyway, how about you? How about you? Celia, Celia respond. Just the usual. Puntos suspensivos, deja un espacio, un espacio de, de, de pausa. Uh -huh. Checking that the personal is ready and ordering the inventory. Punto. Entro yo. I throw ordering the inventory was Janet Jobs. Entonces, el throw lo está hablando en pasado. Está utilizando el verbo en pasado. I throw. Orden, ordering, ordering the inventory was Janet Job. Entonces, cuando regresamos al, al principio de Celia, es I see, yo veo, punto, dejamos espacio, y después redice I saw the reception when I can. Yes, I will schedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Though ordering inventory was Janet's job. Yes. Uh, 
Así que le vuelvo a hacer yo Marcos y lo hago con el cambio que hay. Ok. Vale, ok. Dale. Good, good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I had to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. Uh, I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I need to check emails in little minutes. Uh, anyways, how about you? Is the usual uh, checking that the personal is ready and ordering the inventory? Yeah, I thought in ordering the inventory was Janet's job. ¿Me entendiste lo que puse? <laughs> yes, sí, sí, sí. Ok. Eh, eso, I need to check emails a uh, little minutes. Eh, a ver, ¿tenés, ¿tenés algún cambio vos? No, 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 no le he hecho cambio. Okay. Tendría que escribirlo. Yo aquí se lo puse un poquito al lápiz. Uh -huh. Va bueno. a ser Celia. Okay. Morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I had to talk the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes. I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Yeah. Pues sí, como uno a veces no, no sabe a cuán, cómo es que se pronuncia. Sí. Cabal. Eh, we finished, teacher. We All finished. Right. Did you change any? Part? Yes. All right. You're ready. Good. Ahí está la teacher preguntémosle. Teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Tell me. Este, no nos quedó claro el punto tres que era. Ah, que lo vamos a hacer al regresar ya con los cambios. Ah, ah ya, ya. Uh -huh. So you need to practice your new version. Ok. Ah, ok. Que right. solo estábamos ahí con una duda, ya lo voy a hacer. Permítame, voy a compartir. Tell me, tell me, no problem. Quiero ver. No sé si logran verla. Sí. I need rest. Yes. Va, fíjese que dijo que después de... De tomorrow, ¿verdad? Marcos. Yes. Uh -huh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Entonces estamos pensando. I need to make. Uh, need, ah, no. Sería. I need. Eh, ¿Qué era? Mayra, ya se me olvidó. Go to, go to rest. I need to go to rest, diría yo. Ir Como a, ir a descansar. Ajá, ir a descansar. Ajá. Porque es que él dice que tiene como dos semanas está entrevistando. Ajá, ¿sí? imagínese cuánto tiempo. No, no, no. <risa> Quiere agregarle eso. Pero sí, en el trabajo no le va a decir que sí, descanse, sí, puede sí. llevar un mes entrevistando. <risa> siga, siga, siga. Por lo menos un cafecito. I need to have a cup of coffee. También. I need a cup of coffee. I need, a, uh -huh, I need to have a cup of coffee. Uh -huh. Ok. I need a cup of coffee. Okay. Ya nos vamos a inventar algo, algo que sea como, ah, vaya, como laboral, ver. ¿verdad? Exacto. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep practicing, no problem. Ahora, interviewing. Exactly, interviewing. Es entrevista, teacher. He estado entrevistando. Y entrevista es interview. Interview. Uh -huh. Interview. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. 
Perfecto. Ah, pueden ser las dos. Ok, no problem. No sé si viste ahí en el, en el chat. Ahorita te lo veo. Ok. ¿En qué escribiste? Personal, me lo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Your work experience. If they. I need to review. Uh -huh. They work experience. Necesitamos, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. O lo hacemos. Si lo hacemos en plural, ¿verdad? I need to review the work experience. Uh -huh. I need to review. Por experience también, ¿verdad? Sería experiencia Both. laboral. Ajá, uh -huh. work experience. Work experience. Uh -huh. I need to. I need to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, pero. Pero como estamos cambiando, ya no sería I need. Fui, ahí sería fui, ¿verdad? Porque estamos diciendo necesitamos. Revisar. No porque es el trabajo de Marcos, es lo que Marcos está haciendo. Entonces dice, yo necesito revisar su experiencia laboral. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces ah, okay. va a ser. Ajá. Yes. I need to revisar. ¿Qué es lo que dice? A veces ver las películas en inglés. En inglés. Ajá. Sí. Cabal. Tratar de entenderlo. Bye. Y en su caso sería entonces. Fíjese que yo no entiendo si, o podría ser, en my case, is low similar, como de querer decir de que es poco. Poco similar. Ajá, o sea, casi no, porque yo no, no hago entrevistas. Entonces sería nada similar. Ah, it's nothing, nothing. No sé si le puede decir. Nothing. Nothing. No. Uh -huh. Ajá, es nothing similar. Nothing similar. Creo que es mejor, la mejor palabra. Me uh -huh. que es nothing. Similar because I never make interview algo así digo yo uh -huh. bueno sí algunas veces pero pero como le decía que es más para proyectos no es para la empresa que para ajá, personal ajá sí. interview ajá. y eso entonces ya respondimos la pregunta y ahora Solamente que sigamos practicando la lectura. Vaya, me parece. Sí. Para Celia. Yo soy Celia. Celia. Vale. Usted es Marcos. Yo soy Marcos. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day done? Pretty good. It's just finished. Finished. Así es. Finished. 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 No. La H no, no se pronuncia en día, ¿verdad? Finished. Finished. Algo así. Finished. Ah, ajá. Finished. Finished. Vea, ¿cómo se escribe? Bueno, no tengo ahorita el traductor porque lo estoy ocupando el teléfono. Eh, interview con Finished. Eh, interview. Interviewing con potential employees. Then I have to talk the staff. About some change in the schedule. Uh, I see. I, aquí yo no entiendo por qué aparece el verbo en dos, en dos tiempos. I see y I saw some, some people in the reception when I came. Mm -hmm. I see this, I saw. 
Yo Ajá. veo y... Vamos a ver. El ya. primer ahí sí es como entiendo. Ah, Ajá. ya veo. Y el otro es, ah, por eso es que vi algunas personas en la recepción cuando yo vine. Ah. Uh -huh. El ahí sí, en ese, en ese, justamente en esa frase la estamos utilizando como, ah, entiendo, por eso es que vi algunas personas. Es como una, ah. una, una frase, como, I, ah, I got it. Ah. Uh -huh. mm. Ah, yeah. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Thank you. I see, I saw some people in the reception when I come. Um, when I came. Uh -huh. And you say, porque usted es Marcos. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? <laughs> reception when, uh, when I, I came. came. I came. When I came. Repeat. Repeat. I okay. see. I saw. He saw a. So I people. No. So people in the reception. When I can't. Oh, came. When I came. came. I can't. Perdón. I can't. Can't is no poder. Can. When I came. Bye. Repeat. I see. I saw. So I saw people in the reception when I came. When I came. Okay. Perfect. I came. Yes. Uh, dale, 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 dale. Yes. I read. Ay, I see no palabras. Teacher. Reschool. Reschool. Reschedule. Reschedule. Okay. Reschedule. 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 Re. Re. Sin la sin la de al final. Re. Re. Schedule. Reschedule. Re-schedule, re-schedule. Okay. So of, so some, of. Some. Some of day them. tomorrow. Then tomorrow I. Salud. Uh -huh. eh, estaba contestando las preguntas. Um, por ejemplo, la number one, why kind of job does Marcos have? Uh, okay. so Marcos es manager. Es este. Because then. I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. All right, everybody's supposed to be back now. Are you ready? <laughs> Did you yeah. remake ready. the conversation? <laughs> All right, the first participants will be. Um, 
let me check let me check how come all right christy you practice with hazel or with lucy lucy all right christy and lucy are you ready Lucy? Yes, I'm ready. All right. So who starts, Christy or Lucy? I I want I can start. All right. Actually, good morning, Christina. How is your day going? Uh, good morning, Lucy. Uh, pretty good. I just finished interview some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some Shanks in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I finished a report for my boss. I needed to make some calls in the in some minutes. Um. Anyway, how about about this? Just the the usual and checking some emails and ordering the inventory. Uh, at, at two, ordering the inventory was Julius joke. Yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, good job. Reactions. <laughs> Real reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Life. <laughs> it's all right, no problem. Okay, next we have Daniel and Iliana. I guess Iliana and Daniel are not able to do it. So let's have Hector and Irma instead. Okay. All right, ready? I'm ready. Okay. Action. All right. Um, good morning, Marco. How is your day going? Pretty good. I finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see, I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some units anyway. How about you? Uh, just the casual, check in the, uh, that the personal is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet Jobs. Did you make any change to the conversation? What? Did you make any change to the conversation? No. No. Just practice. All right, good. <laughs> Adriana and Elsie. Okay. okay. Good morning, Adriana. Good morning, Elsie. Who are you they going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to a staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, there are fill out an application. I need to review or ex uh, work experience. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. I need to finish the self-report. 
and check the payments to suppliers. I thought checking the payments was Christy Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, no, that's not my job. <laughs> nice. Let's see. How about Fernand and Mayra? Are you ready? Yeah, teacher. Hi, Mayra. Hi, Fernand. How are you? Uh, pretty good. I just finished interview some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see I saw some people in the reception when I come. Yes, reschedule you uh, some on them tomorrow. I need go to rest. I need a cup of coffee and, and, and some minutes anyways. How about you? Uh, as usually, uh, I will visit the second floor to see the production. I thought that in church production was Blanca Joe. Yes, but she requested, requested permission today. She has to give some English class. <laughs> the name teacher. <laughs> you were very creative. <laughs> and we were just thinking about the cup of coffee. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Okay. Good job. As a matter Thank of you. fact, I need another cup of coffee. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I need a permission too. No, for one of these days. <laughs> actually, Friday, Friday. No, actually, I was telling my boss that tomorrow he will let me go one hour before because I need to go to get the, um, the driving. A permit? License? No, the license, I have it. But the, the permit for that you have to renew like every day. Ah, the, the card. circulation card. Exactly, that one. And then the other day I need to come early again because I have a, a let's say, uh -huh. a family uh -huh. meeting. <laughs> Why did I mention anything, right? I better not. <laughs> All right, anyway, so it was what a coincidence, imagine. Okay, Carlos and Isabel. Ready? Okay, go ahead, Isabel. Okay. Good morning, Carlos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to this staff about some change in the schedule. Mm, yes. I see it. I check my email and supervise the employees. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the idea. You can start again if you want. Okay. Uh, start again. Okay. Good morning, Carlo. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing for some potential employees. Then I had to tell the staff about some change in this session. I see, uh, I saw some people in the reception when I can. Yeah. Yes, let's schedule some deep tomorrow. I need to check the emails a little minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. Uh, check and supervising the person is ready and the order in the inventory. Um, I, I thought ordering the inventory was Janice job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, it stays the same, right? Good. Who's missing? 
Let's see, Daniel and Ileana. I don't know because Daniel's just listening. Samuel and Wendy, did you make a new conversation? Did you make changes or did you just no, practice no, the same? Just the same. practice the same. All just right, give just... me give me a second. All, All right. right. Okay. Okay. Ready, Wendy? Start. Good morning, Marco. Good morning, uh, Samuel. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk with the staff about some change in the schedule. I see, I saw. So, so people in the reception and when I can. Yes, reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Who they usual take che it? Che 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 Taking a uh, taking the personal is re really um, ordering the inventory. I throw ordering the inventory was a uh, Janet job. Finish. All right, good. Great. Okay. Is oh my god, the dog start barking. All right, is there any question or anybody who hasn't participated that wants to participate? Let us know. No, everybody teacher, participate. Hey, teacher, ponga la conversation, please. All right, one second. Mm -hmm. La palabra donde dice Marcos, yes. ¿Cómo es que se dice? I, que se I read I, scheduled. I read the schedule. Read schedule. Read schedule. Ok, es que esa no se me quedó mucho. <laughs> so right. I read schedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some I phone see. calls or some calls in some minutes. Okay. Anyways, how about okay. you? Thank you. Thank All you. All right, no problem. Okay, attendance, second time. I need to have, all right, here. Adriana. Yes. Carlos. Present teacher. Christina. Present. Daniel, Elsie, present teacher, Herman, present teacher, Hazel, Hector, Ileana, present, present, Irma, present, um, Isabel, present, okay, Lucy, present, Marta. Mayra. Present teacher. Samuel. Present two times. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> I am here. And Jacqueline. Jacqueline was not connected tonight. She's not connected tonight. All right. Okay. Important. Very important. Let me just have something right here. Okay. According to this conversation, to colleagues talking, we have some questions to be discussed, right? In pairs, this is, discuss the following questions. What kind of job does Marcus have? What are some of the res of key responsibilities? How similar are the activities they do to the ones that you do? Okay, so we have these three questions. You, there's not a specific correct answer, but there are some, I mean, 
possibilities, right? So discuss these questions with the person that you were talking to. So we keep working with the same partner. Let's give a couple of minutes to do that activity. Está celebrando alguna feria. Sí, la, la fiesta patronales y casi no estaba pasando listo la teacher y casi no la escuché. <risa> y aquí los perritos se pusieron a ladrar. Ay, Dios. Y está cerca. Ya se me están cayendo encima. <risa> Bueno, entonces yo entendí que íbamos a contestar las, las preguntas de esta. La discusión y following question. Mm. <ríe> Menos mal que ya las tenemos contestadas. Menos mal. Uh. Qué terrible. <ríe> ya tienen un buen rato quemando por esta gente. <ríe> Ay, no. Y está cerquita. Sí, sí, quien eh, está muy como a unos ¿qué? menos de 200 metros. Ah. Ah. <risa> bueno. Y todo es pólvora china, imagínense. Ay, Dios. <risa> Con razón veo de que de repente se le ilumina. ¿Cómo? <risa> De repente veo que se le ilumina la cara, le, las luces de los puentes. No es de, de veras que sí. Muy cústica, mano. Los luzazos. No. Ya creo que ya. Y después van a seguir con unos los toritos. Ah, ¿y a dónde es que vive? Mm. Bueno, ¿se en qué otro usted? Permítame, voy a quitar esto. What, what is, is you live? ¿Y a dónde es que vive? ¿Cómo dice? ¿A dónde vive? Santiago, Texacuango. Ah, Ahora. sí. Put the, put the song. Then you will recognize some words. And then. Ya la tenés. Ok. Todavía no. <coughs> Hello. Eh, eh, en el number one, uh -huh. I put Marco is manager. It's okay. Yeah. It's a manager, to be. In the number two, put, we put Marcos is charged to interview to the personnel. Okay, Marcos is in charge of interviewing the personnel. In, mm -hmm. 
okay. it's okay reduction my answer my my answer yes marco is in charge of re of interviewing so of uh oh, uh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh okay. he's in charge of interviewing ah uh, interviewing mm -hmm. interview interview okay. uh, number three mm -hmm. I think it's um, it's something personal. Mm -hmm. Yes. I could. It's taking a bow with partners that to be under my charge. Mm -hmm. Talking. It's, it's right. Talking to my <laughs> partners who are under my charge. Talking to my partners. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's okay. 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 Who are, ah. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I, uh, yes, it's taken to my partners who are under my charge. Yes, talking to my partners who are under my charge. Okay. All right. Okay, thank so you. You finished. Yes. And Isabel finished too? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Okay. Ah, abilities. Ah, uh, entonces quedaría así. Como son skill, también va con mayúscula, va con plural. Skills. Skills. Uh, abilities. Abilities and skills. ¿Verdad? Sí. Test. Correcto. Así, mira. Test. Sí. Ok. Vaya ahí. Solo eso. Ok. Va, entonces ya tenemos ahí. Ya contestamos. Ya contestamos. Voy a corroborar. His los las preguntas primeras que no en el chat para si quieres practiquemos para que nos vea la teacher que estamos practicando <risa> hola teacher ya la vimos espera <risa> <risa> me what, quiero ver what kind of joy does Marco have espera 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 voy a poner aquí porque estaba revisándola dice <coughs> What kind, la pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí, la pregunta. What, what, what kind can... of job does Marco have? Pues según nosotros es his manager human resource. Resources. ¿Cómo se dice esa yes. palabra, teacher? Yes, human resources. Resources, ok. Mm -hmm. Human resources. La otra pregunta sería, what are some, some, of this responsibility, responsibility. He is in charge of interview new employees. Okay. How similar are the activity they do with the one ones you do? Okay. <clears throat> Vamos a poner, Mayra is in charge the abilities and skill test. Okay. 
Sí, yo creo que está bien eso. Si no, okay. me mojo. <risa> ya no va a regañar la teacher. Listo. <risa> Solo voy a contestar las preguntas aquí. His manager. Y la otra pregunta es Ready? All right. What kind of job does Marcos have? Mm -hmm. We define with Wendy that he could be a human resources specialist or human resources manager. Exactly, because he talks about interviewing, right? Some potential employees. Yeah. So these people are applying to get a job at this company. So he's in charge of talking and giving instructions to the staff, changes in a schedule. Okay. Yes, definitely. That could be the right answer. What are some of the responsibilities that he has? What are some of his responsibilities? Mm -hmm. Uma research manager. Okay, human resources manager is the position, but what are the responsibilities that he has? Interview potential employees. Exactly, interviewing potential employees. What else? A schedule of the personnel. Uh -huh. Making a schedule for the personnel, for the staff, right? informing or giving directions to the staff as well mm -hmm. what else that could be yeah right and the next one how similar are the activities that you do with the ones okay the activities that they do with the ones that you do okay how similar the activities that they mention here from Marcos and from Celia, not only from Marcos, because if you say, oh no, those are not very similar to my activities because I don't interview new new candidates or potential candidates. So you just say, oh yeah, but what about checking the personal, if the personal is ready, or the inventory, rescheduling interviews or making phone calls. What about these other activities, right? So how are these activities similar to the activities that you do or totally different? Anybody? Anybody wants to participate? Wendy wants to say the answer. All right, go ahead, Wendy. Gracias. 
Hi, Wendy. What are you? Hi, no había entendido el micrófono, es que yo también. It's all right, no problem. Um, how dream. similar, yes, how similar are the activities? No, we don't, I have similar activities. You don't have similar no. activities no, at all? Activity. Okay, no. what do you do? Um, se me olvida cómo se dice en ventas. In sales. In sales, trabajo en ventas. I work in sales. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So you don't interview potential okay candidates or potential um employees. You don't send reports. You don't check personnel. You don't order inventory. Nothing. You just are in charge of selling in a store. All right. Somebody else? Somebody who has similar activities? No? Yes, I'm interview to a new employee for my IT department. Mm -hmm. So after you do these interviews, they also have to have the interviews with the human resources department? Yes. But you are like the first person who interviews the, the new employees, right? The potential employees for the IT department of your company. Yes. All right. Somebody else? A uh, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have been in charge uh, of a skill and ability test for new employee potential employee employees. Oh, nice! Uh, so you have been in charge, okay, of passing the test of the potential employees. Okay, nice. Uh, skills and abilities in production. That's interesting. Okay, somebody else? No one else? Okay, no problem. It's okay. Let's see. Everyday tasks. Remember that on this unit, they describe most of the uh, activities or tasks, but for people or for the staff that work in a restaurant, of course, we adapt these activities for different areas because not everybody works in a restaurant, right? So <clears throat> they present, hold on, I might put you right here. Okay, they present this everyday task. It says, take a look at some common tasks of personnel at a restaurant. How different or similar are yours, okay? How different or similar are these? task or these activities to your activities. Okay, so the first one says, meet the head chef to review the weekly menu. Call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs. Order inventory, order the inventory. Talk to the staff about changes in the schedule. Interview potential employees and check the weekly schedule. Okay, so these are some of the common tasks, some of the common activities that employees at a managing area at a restaurant will do, right? So these activities not necessarily are the same activities that you do, right? But you can have at least a common task that you do, like everyday tasks. These are a lot of tasks actually. Met the head chef to review the weekly menu. The head chef definitely is the lead, the leading chef or the, let's say, the most important chef probably. I would say the chef that coordinates everything, right? Like the boss of the other chef probably to review the weekly menu. If you have the opportunity to work for a restaurant and you are the manager of a restaurant, obviously 
you will have to have a meeting with the chef, okay, with the leader of the other chef to review what the menu is for the week, right? How long do you think a meeting with the chef will take? Like one hour or half an hour? How long do you think it's a, it's a meeting if you are the manager and you need to have a meeting with the chef, the head 30, chef? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That would be enough to discuss the weekly menu. Okay. Yeah. So you would have to have very efficient conversations, right? to argue or to agree on the weekly menu, of course. Okay, what about call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs? So in this case, probably the, the restaurant wants to provide, wants to give some souvenirs to the customers. How long do you think this task would take in time? 20 minutes, 30 minutes what? to agree for the promotional souvenirs. Mm -hmm. How long? In 20 minutes, you have a Good conversation with a marketing company. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Enough. <laughs> okay. Order inventory. How long? Three days. Three days. Oh my god! Inventory at a restaurant. Yeah, they must have lots of products, right? In ingredients. Okay. Talk to the staff about changes in the schedule. How long would that take? 20 mm -hmm. minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, and probably you will have to send the the document or print the document for the new schedule right and give it to everybody or to give a digital version of the new schedule okay interview potential employees hmm if you have five interviews each interview will be about one hour for each an hour for each potential employee. So if you have five potential interviewers, I mean, five potential employees, then you will have to, in, yes, definitely uh, use about five hours. Yes, an hour for each of the potential employees. All right, and check the weekly schedule. Five minutes. Five minutes? Okay, five to 10 minutes, probably. That could be. So, for questions of time, you, we usually say how long. Yes, how long means time, okay? An hour, two hours, three hours, one day, five minutes, 10 minutes, right? Okay, this was just, you know, it's a matter of practice for this um, vocabulary. Write the task that you do in your workplace, get in part and ask your classmate about the task or he or she does in the workplace. So instead of saying, yeah, instead of uh, saying your task in your classmate task, because we did this yesterday again, try to discuss, okay? This part of the vocabulary. Meet the head chef to review the weekly menu. ¿Cuáles podrían ser? Probably. 
what could be the expressions or the sentences that they use in this meeting. Ok, en Spanish. En lugar de hacer esta parte, yes, lo que vamos a hacer es tratar de imaginarnos cuáles podrían ser las posibles frases, oraciones o cosas que se digan en cada una de estas situaciones. That's why I'm saying, imagine, use your imagination. Imagine that you are the manager of a restaurant. Y que tiene una meeting con el head chef. O sea, con el jefe de los otros chefs. Para definir el menú de la semana. Entonces, ¿qué podrían estar diciendo? Yes, if one person is the manager and the other one is the head chef. Maybe you can say, oh. Do you agree with these dishes? Do you think these dishes are okay? Do we need to buy any other ingredients? Anything that could be happening. Of course, no tiene que ser perfecto. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're not managers and we're not working in a restaurant. But something that can be predicted about each of the situation. Entonces van a decir al menos dos o tres frases que se puedan decir en cada una de estas situaciones. Yes? When you are ordering inventory, what do you usually say? When you are calling a company or marketing company for promotional souvenirs, what do you usually ask for? Prices, color, designs, right? When you talk to the staff about the, the changes in the schedule, what do you usually say? If you are the leader, of course, if you are the manager, right? Well, when you are interviewing potential employees, we already know a lot of these questions, like, What's your work experience? Tell me about your studies, right? And if you are checking the weekly schedule, I don't think there's much to say, but probably you could say something. So imagine what could be said in each of these situations. Is that clear? Hay alguna pregunta? No? Sure? All right, perfect. Let me get some other groups. Vamos a recrear esos grupos. So they work with somebody else. All right. Here we go. Está bien rico. Solo esto. Está bien. Está bien. Eh, 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 ¿A quiénes podría dejar delegado eh, en ciertas actividades, algo así? Por sí, porque están revisando. Puede ser ensalada uno, puede ser de otro eh, plato. otra 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 imagen. otra lámina sí hello hello um, la siguiente lámina eh, solo una puso verdad en el en el chat Sí, lo que pasa es que la otra vez sí les preguntaba de que, de que iban las actividades que ustedes realmente hacen y las que sus compañeros hacen, pero eso ya lo hicimos ayer. Ajá. 
Uh -huh. so, ahorita es como nada más tratar de imaginar qué posiblemente dirían en cada una de estas situaciones si estuvieran ustedes en esa situación. ¿Qué le preguntaría usted al chef si usted fuera el manager? Primero, muéstrame. <ríe> Show me the, the, the ah, weekly okay. menu. Uh -huh. What is your ¿Cómo plan? lo organiza? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué ha sugerido esa, esos platos para tal día? Ese tipo de cosas. Si incluye carbohidratos. O sea, preguntas así Exacto, relacionadas. relacionadas a eso. Ok. Ahora sí. Hoy sí. Gracias. Uh -huh. Hi. Peter, tenemos, tenemos dudas de, de qué es en realidad lo que vamos a hacer. Bueno, tiene que imaginarse que usted está en cada una de esas situaciones y qué podría decirse. O sea, que una de nosotros se va a convertir como en el manager o en el encargado, el Ajá, en el encargado de la cocina. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué podrían estar diciendo si ustedes estuvieran en ese papel? O sea, to todas estas cuestiones eh, son como si le vamos a buscar. Ajá, ajá, sí, como situaciones, uh -huh. le vamos a buscar una, ¿Qué poder una decir? conversación. Exacto, ajá. No necesariamente una conversación como tal, pero por ejemplo, dos o tres cosas que se podrían decir en esa conversación. Ok. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ahora sí. All right. <ríe> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, ¿Va? la primera Ajá. sería meet a head of shit to review the... Que... Hola, teacher, aquí. Teacher. Hello. Este, yo no tengo muy claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer. But, Solo me imagino think? que voy a hacer como preguntas... Ajá, sí, como, si, estu tema. Ajá, por ejemplo, como si estuviera usted en cada una de esas situaciones. Por ejemplo, el primero, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Me the head chef to review the, the weekend menu. Entonces uh -huh. yo, como tengo ahí al chef conociéndolo, uh -huh. uh -huh. le quería preguntar, what is usually cooked as my, as my menu? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces lo que pre preguntaría, pero no sé si estas preguntas se tendría que contestar a la vez. Podría ser, podría ser que ajá, la otra persona piense como el chef, la otra persona que está con usted y responda. Uh -huh. y responda pero eso es lo que hay que hacer, se pregunta. Exacto, ajá, sobre, como imaginarse, que sobre se podría ser. Exacto. Ok, entonces estamos bien. Right. Ok, Irma, entonces pensemos en, en una respuesta a eso. Ajá, uh -huh. what is usually cooking? ¿Qué, qué usualmente cocina? Eh, como menú principal, as main menu. Ajá, sería. Y eh, para, para que lo podamos unir después. Eh, bueno, no sé, veo que está la teacher, tal vez, solo para consultarle cualquier una duda. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hey, tell me. Pa según lo que yo entendí, estaba, uh -huh. estaba explicando, es que por ejemplo, la agarro orden de inventory uh -huh. y digamos que estamos en una reunión y hacer como qué es lo que se puede dar las ideas en esas reuniones, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué podrían estar diciendo? Si tuvieran okay. que estar ordering the inventory. Perfecto. Uh -huh. Entonces lo que hemos quedado, teacher, es que nos vamos a repartir okay. para después compartir. Right, perfecto. Ok, de acuerdo. Uh -huh. Eh, creo que eh, la teacher lo puso ahí en el grupo. Para que, por si acaso, no, no lo pudieran ver acá. Ahí lo pueden ver directamente. Eh, eh, tal vez uno de los subordinados que dice... Eh, que Yo estoy a cargo de, de la ensalada. Uh -huh. Que le diga, de acuerdo, estoy a cargo uh -huh. de la ensalada. Uh -huh. Ya, 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 ya entiende, entiendo. Hay gris, hay cosas que. Hay gris. I, ¿no? I, I can make, eh, no, prepare the salad, algo así. Ajá, uh -huh. I am, I am. Charge. Prepare, prepare. 
to share. Uh, I am. Es que quería poner, estoy a cargo de preparar la ensalada. Ah, no, entonces I will, porque estaré. Porque como, ajá, como estará. Ah, ajá. I, I will charge. Ah, no. 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 I, I will, will be in charge. Así. <laughs> I, in charge. I will. I am will, sería. No, porque I am. <laughs> ya, lo, ya lo estaba. <laughs> I'm will. Yeah, I'm will. Uh -huh. I will. I will. I will be. I will be. Estaré. I will be. I will be. I will be. In charge to prepare be. the salad. In charge. Uh -huh. In charge. Prepare. Salad. Ajá. Uh -huh. Otra frase puede ser que le diga el, el jefe. Todo tiene que estar listo a las ¿qué? a las 12. Uh -huh. Ah, Sorry. quiero todo listo a las 12. I want to I want to ready. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want I'll be ready. I want already. Uh, I want all to be ready. Uh, I want all. You'll be ready. Ready. At at o'clock. At noon. At afternoon. At noon. Say uh, those. Mm. At noon. Noon. I want all to ready at noon. No, no sé cómo lo traduce. En, o, o, en. Mediodía. A mediodía. Mm. Uh, no, uh, N -O -N, N -O -N. Y todos le contestan, yes, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, yes. Chef le dice, ¿verdad? <laughs> Y si no okay. tiene, ¿de qué te preocupas? Okay. We finished, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Una, dos, tres, cuatro, sí. Estamos. We want to find a, a, a job in a restaurant. We are specialists in restaurant. I am su chef, su chef, su chef, su chef. <laughs> y el de la salsa, ¿cómo se llama? Sous man. ¿Por qué? Porque sería como de estar haciendo una llamada. Ajá. Uh -huh. How many, how many promotional do you have? Ajá, uh -huh. how many promotional? Do you, do you want? Uh -huh. Ok, esta sería La otra dice Order the inventory Ajá Va en esta Ordenar el inventario. Uh -huh. eh. Order by. Order by colors. 
order by. Por, también por tipo de, de, como es un restaurant, el tipo de, de, de comida, o sea, de ingredientes, o sea, separados. Order by. Mm -hmm. Order by type of food. Por tipo de comida. Order by for. Mm -hmm. Order by type of, of food. Y cantidad también. Uh -huh. How many? ¿Qué cantidad? How many? En quantity. En quantity podríamos decir. Order by type of food. En quantity. How many products do you have in the inventory? ¿Cuánto producto tienes? Uh -huh. La otra dice, talk to the staff about change in the schedule. Finish, right? All right, let's see. Possible conversations, possible phrases, possible sentences. If manager meets the head chef to review the weekly menu, anybody? Introduce a new, a new dessert. Okay, we're gonna introduce a new dessert. All right. What else? Maybe I'm going to assign the task for the menu. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assign the task to cook the menu during this week. The mm bean. -hmm. What else? Check which uh, the, the menu for our day. Okay, let's check the menu for every day. Mm -hmm. Let's quickly check the menu. That's good. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? What is usually cooked as main menu? Okay, what is usually cooked as the main menu, as the main dish? Okay. Do we need 
any ingredients or do we have enough ingredients in the inventory? Right? Who, uh, who, who is a uh, dishes washes is very important. <laughs> Okay, nice. So the dishwasher for this week, all right. What else? Uh, every day, every day, day inventory is done. It's six days. Um, como se dice once. Once. O -N -S -S once. Once a week or once a day. Is once check and day weekly. Es, 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 pool, es, pool. es que yo, es que yo, ajá, ok, all right, what if you're calling a marketing company for some promotional souvenirs, what would you say? Mm -hmm. For the promotional Okay, do you have any promotionals in offer? Do you have offers? Right. Mm -hmm. Can we get any discount? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. What else? Indicating the, the product. Uh... Mm -hmm. You have a products catalog, right? To be the How many different options. How yeah. many promotional? Do we need, right? How many promotionals do you need? Mm -hmm. What type of promotionals do you need? Mm -hmm. Do you have sure. a... Yes? Share... Um, list... How do you say it? Share... Uh, price list. The share list, price yes. List. The price... Well, the list of prices, right? The price list. Right. Okay. Do you want a specific design or do you have a specific design? Do you want us to design the the logos or the slogans or whatever you want on the promotionals, right? Okay. What about if you are ordering inventory? Mm -hmm. Who are the suppliers? Do we need to call the suppliers? Do we still have in the stock? Order right. by type of food. Okay, order by type of food, by ingredients, by the date, right? The expiration date as well. Mm -hmm. How often do, do you take inventory? How often do you take inventories? Are there products that are already expired? Or do we need to buy any specific ingredients or the most popular dish? Right. What about if you have to talk to the staff about changes in the schedule? That's not easy. <laughs> uh -huh. What would you say? Let's, we have to talk, or we have a meeting. I need to inform you about some changes, right? Some people will have to come in a different shift, or some people have to uh, work a double shift, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about in the evening? Yes? Maybe I need to put the battery. <laughs> 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 okay, you need to work harder, so you will have to be assigned to a different shift. You will have to make changes, right? Okay, what about if you're interviewing a potential employee? This is easy because we have practiced with this one before. Mm -hmm. What Possible? did your work experience? What's your work experience, right? Tell me about your work experience. Describe your work experience. Mm -hmm. What do you say, idonia? What do you say? E idonia. Ideal? Ideal. Mm -hmm. 
Teacher. Yes. Pero, no sé si yo entendí mal la pregunta, pero es como venir y que el de recursos humanos le diga a usted, ya no va a trabajar viernes, va a pasar a sábado y domingo. Así sería. <risa> pregunto. En el caso de talk about changes in the schedule, sí. Ah, ok. Pero si usted está entrevistando a un potencial ah. empleado, oh, okay, usted le puede, okay. obviamente lo que quiere es conocer sus habilidades, su experiencia, ¿verdad? Right? Talk about quedado, your no. skills and abilities. Ya había quedado en la anterior. Sí, hijo. <risa> Ay, el sueño ya. No, sí. <risa> ya vamos fast. We're going fast, fast, fast. Yes, interviewing a potential employee. Talk about your education. Talk about your skills. Describe your talents, right? What are your salary expectations? People usually ask that but they never give you what you expect anyway. So <laughs> tell me about, oh, what do you know about this company? They usually ask this type of questions, right? And check the weekly schedule. There's not much to say because you check something on your own, right? So probably you won't have to say anything. Okay, here we have another schedule for a restaurant manager. Write the time of the, each event. This is something que pueden hacer ustedes mismos, solo van y buscan cada una de estas actividades y ven a qué hora sucede eso, ¿ok? You can do this on your own. Y aquí tienen como a little bit of practice. Eso es para practicar. ¿Recuerdan lo del simple present para la tercera persona? En este caso diríamos, Jeff. Works. Works, Works. exactly. Works. You just put the S, right? Cuando es he, she, or it. Janet and Pete, clean, normal, because it's they, Jane and Pete, right? Clean the tables every day. Mark, what is the auxiliary for the negative in third person? Doesn't. Doesn't. Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesdays. Our restaurant. Open. Opens from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Our boss. Spends. Spends much time in the restaurant. We. We don't. We, we don't, don't close on Sundays. They expect. expect to have more clients this week, okay? And this is just, uh, remember that we practice also the adverse of frequency. So pick up always tables. Write sentence using the word parentheses. Obviously, aquí necesitamos un subject, right? Aquí no se los dan, pero podría ser como Carlos picks up, oh, sorry. Carlos always picks up tables, right? Change seldom menu. So this restaurant seldom changes the menu, right? Hire rarely new employees. So para todas necesitaríamos un sujeto y si el sujeto es tercera persona, obviously al verbo le tendríamos que agregar la S. Si fuera más de like plural uh, subject, no necessarily, right? So this is something you can do. Y aquí estaríamos cerrando la unit 2 y tendríamos que hacer el midterm exam. Uh -huh. Tonight. Los que ya lo habían hecho, qué bueno. Good job. <laughs> Los que no, crying tonight. Ok, veamos. Attendance, the last time, I'm sorry. Vamos corriendo. We're running. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Elsie. Present. Herman, Present, teacher. Hazel. Hector. Present. Iliana. Present. Iliana, le corresponde tonight la sesión de one on one. Yes? No puedo, ni. Why? Como el 5% de carga. All right, no problem. Irma. Present. ¿Ya participó Irma? Sí. Ah. <laughs> Isabel. Present. ¿Usted podría? Mm, no, hoy no. No, not today. Lucy. Present. Could you? I'm sorry, teacher, I'm, I'm trying to finish a homework. All right, no problem. Marta? Mm, 
Not either. Mayra? Present. You participated already, Mayra? Pues como dice mi mom. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <ríe> wow, Mayra se sacrificará por todos ustedes. Se merece un aplauso, Mayra. No worries. <ríe> ok, Samuel. Present. Wendy. I am here. All right. Ok, Mayra is the bravest one. Mm, esa es una lección <ríe> de vida. Ok, thank you very much. Take care. Finish the exam. Hope to see you tomorrow. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Okay, mate. Regáleme un segundito. Just a second. Okay. All right. Okay, tell me, Mayra, do you have any question? Mm, no, no question. No questions about any topic, about the platform, about the exam, about the exercises. Eh, no, that the thing I have everything right. Everything completed. I study in the in the afternoon. Um, al componer a regresar al retorno when i come back from work I, when i return from work when i come back return in from from work in the five at five half five thirty mm -hmm, i have thirty y, um in, in this this moment study wow you spend a lot of time studying every day yes Nice, that's good. That's great. Okay, so maybe we can have a conversation in English then, just to practice. <laughs> for I, the I, sacrifice. I have problem problem with for for talking. So tengo problemas para conversar, pero yo entiendo. It's okay, it's okay. Por eso es se, por que eso están diciendo. Pero I know, it's okay. Por, por eso se dan estos minutos, para que usted aproveche. Sí, vale, cuénteme no sé. cómo es un día normal en Mayra's life. How is Mayra in a day? Okay. I, in the morning, at um, 40, 40 a.m., mm -hmm. um, I stand up. Um, I go take shower uh, and then uh, cook, um, cook lunch yeah. and uh, and luego then then I dress them. I get dressed. I get dressed uh -huh. at. Um, 6, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. I go to work. Early. I go to work and start work at 7, 7, 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. But me, I, can I see it? I like. I like. I like. I like and llegar temprano, to get early. I get early. I get early. Yes, in um, in the morning, I work. I go to breakfast in the half moon. Half moon. I go to to lunch. You have breakfast and lunch in the work. Yes. Okay. What yes. time do you usually have, have breakfast? I had. 20 minutes for, for, for breakfast uh -huh. and lunch 40, 14, 14, 40, 40, 40, 40, uh, 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes for lunch. I, I take uh, one, one word. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I come early. So. But what time do you usually have breakfast? At eight, at nine? At um, eight. At eight. Mm -hmm. I eight. Mm -hmm. In the morning at eight. 
in the afternoon. Salir is out, ¿verdad? Go out or finish or I leave my work. Okay. I finish my work at um, 40. At 4. 13, 13, 5. At 4.35. Ah, 35. Mm -hmm. At 4 35. Mm -hmm. At okay. 5, you are at home already. Okay. Return back, return back in my world, in my house. I study five, from 5 to, to, mm -hmm. to 7. And then, a good dinner. I cook I dinner. Cook dinner. Mm -hmm. Uh, watching TV and media hora, half, half an hour, half an hour, half an hour, and then uh, connect to the English class. class. Nice, <laughs> good job. <laughs> so, don't be afraid of speaking, just keep practicing. Sí, siempre me ha costado. It's okay. But you can you can practice with uh, your cell phone. You can record a video of you speaking, making a description, narrating things that happen in your life, whatever. And then you can record the video of yourself. And then if you don't like the video, you delete the video. But just by doing it, you're practicing. And imagine that you are speaking with somebody. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can do that. I practice. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, <laughs> okay Maya, thank you so much for staying, for sacrificing for these other people. <laughs> Nadie puede imagine. Nadie puede. O cursan el... Excuses. El curso anterior, ¿cómo sería? Last course. Last course. One person, no, no... Solo una persona no, no se, no se quedó, uh -huh. porque la profesora no preguntaba, solo directo le decía, va, este día le que toca a usted. Nunca les dio la opción, porque a las personas si usted les da la opción, tienden a decir que no. Entonces es mejor un mandatorio, como decirles. Ay, no. Les... <risa> porque si les pregunta, dicen no. True, true. Uh -huh. <risa> Entonces, solo una no pasó, y todos pasamos. Uh -huh. Bueno, ¿se repitió todavía lo siguiente? Sí, se repite porque son 20 clases. Y generalmente no son 20, pues. Uh -huh. Siempre hay una o dos personas que se retiran. So. Anyways. Sí. Well, thank you so much okay. for staying. Thank you, teacher. Okay, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good. All right, bye. Okay, sacamos y las...